Greetings, everybody. Welcome back. This is, uh, this is me. This is Vormatrax. I'm here to play a new game, or a new kind of game. Well, both. <laughs> a new game to me, and uh, a game type I haven't played in quite a while, actually. Been, uh, been a long time. I don't even remember the last one I played. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna play the Outer Worlds, Spacer's Choice Edition. Uh, so, um, I've heard this game described somewhat as Fallout in Space, and maybe a little dash of Borderlands or some, some, some of that kind of action. Um, but it got pretty good reviews from the little bit of poking I did, and, um, I never played it, so... I figured it'd be a fun one to give it a try. So we're going to do that with this stream. And um, since it is kind of a genre I don't dabble in all that much, this is going to be an important one for you guys to let me know. If you're interested in watching me play this kind of content, so your, your voice needs to be heard. Uh, so, you know, comment in chat, comment on Discord, comment on the YouTube screen, place things, you know, all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. So this kind of game is a bit... I mean, these kinds of games in general are a bit front-loaded and heavy in the initial learning department with uh, world introduction and uh, mechanisms and rules and and uh, controls and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if this one stream will get us far enough in to really give us a good idea of uh, the quality and entertainment value. So you know, we'll see. If you're an expert at it, when I play these kinds of games, I generally prefer not to get spoilers or strategy tips um, beyond uh, questions I might ask during the stream about mechanics and how things work uh, that are just if I'm missing a key press or a screen or a piece of info that should be around and I just can't see it. Feel free to chime in, but um, keep the spoilery talk to yourself for now. I'll ease that rule up usually a little later into a run or if I start on a higher difficulty or something. Um, but for the beginning, you know, just, just relax, just relax. I know you're super excited to tell me that if I just go walk five feet over and turn a corner, I'll get super uber ultimate weapon plus seven, but, um, I don't want to know that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and play. Um, I did play just a very short bit of the intro tutorial stuff to make sure things worked and that I'd be interested. Uh, but beyond that, I don't know anything about the game or the world or, or the, the lore or anything like that. Uh, I am interested in one of the difficulty options, though, but I don't think it would be healthy for me to jump straight into it as much as I want to, um, so I'm undecided. I'll, I'll show you when we get to that point. Uh, let's go ahead and hit new game. This is the thing right here, the Supernova difficulty. I remember a difficulty like this from, I think, one of the Fallout games. Um, but basically, this, uh, this turns it a lot more into a survival-type game experience. So, reduce the difficult, uh, let's see, enemies have more health, do more damage, I mean, that's normal. You must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Companions can die permanently, crippled body and limb conditions can only be healed with bed rest, weapon and armor work very poorly at zero durability. You can only fast travel to your ship, you can only sleep inside your ship, you can only manually save while inside your ship, and auto saves are limited. Sounds like my cup of tea. Um, that's exactly the kind of gameplay I usually go for, but I'm a little worried that for a first-time game, it might be a bit much on top of just learning everything. So what we'll probably do is we'll do this stream on normal, just so I can kind of get a handle on things, and then I'll evaluate. Um, we may start over, depending on what I learn and what kind of experience I have uh, in a supernova mode, or maybe we'll continue. I don't know. If you guys have opinions either way, if you've tried supernova and you think it is a, um, a solid way to play the game, um, well, I'm, I'm more than game to give it a go. All right, so let's go normal for now, though. All right, on, on, off, text size, I think is fine. Let me know as well if we need to up the UI size. I can do that most times. Uh, continue. This has kind of a tongue-in-cheek, ultra-corporate, uh, futuristic vibe. And I'll be quiet now. Colony ship Hope found drifting. Colonists unable to be revived. Hope to be left at edge of colony.
hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay, character generation time. Um, so we got six points. We can go above, below. Um, general markers here. Mostly follows the expected path. I've played so many RPGs in my distant past. And uh, both computers and board games and tabletop games. Um, I mean, I get the gist of most of this stuff. And I can expect kind of what most of these are going to kind of feed into. Uh, but I don't know the particular balancing that this game deals with them at. So... I'll just pick kind of what I usually pick. I think temperament's a weird name for this one, for health regen. <laughs> How does temperament have to, what does that have to do with health regen? Couldn't they find another word for this? That one weirded me out a bit. I mean, they just went for three categories of two each, and they needed a constitution endurance stat. And since they had personality as the general thing, they couldn't put that word in there. So they went with temperament. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. All right, um, so let's see. Let's go uh, above our good intelligence. Basically, I can put one into everything, or I can lower something and then raise an additional one. And I do know about the fun of going low intelligence. I, I, a few stars short of a constellation. <laughs> I, I have heard about that one and getting the dumb dialogue options, but that sounds more like a fun gimmick for a second playthrough kind of thing. Um, so we'll avoid that for the moment. Uh, let's go uh, higher intelligence and uh, perception. Um, let's see. Persuade, lie, intimidate, hack, and science. All right. I'm not sure how charm fits into those either, but again, whatever. We'll just pretend these words don't aren't these words. <clears throat> and that's medical, is it? See, they're going to make me do these things. I'm going to go lower on strength and dex. So, two more. Let's go intelligence and medical engineering or hack and science. Um, or lockpick and engineering. Let's keep it simple. Let's go high, high, good, good. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be fine for this first playthrough. Next up. Skill points. Two available. We got to spend them in the major categories first. Um, I know I want to make sure get tech a real scientist and hmm. see what happens yep, you can only pick Look once huh a real scientist. A determination. Oh, that's the healing stuff, huh? All right, sure. We'll do a leadership. Hand at the helm. Next. Aptitude. A special one-time little storyline uh, background kind of bonus. Shock damage, engineering dodge, N-ray. I have no idea what N-ray damage received means. Food effect, corrosive, inspiration, medical... Uh, let's either do scientist or medical. Yeah, let's do uh, let's do science. A lab spread, eh? Huh. We all start somewhere, I suppose. All right, appearance. So, oh, because I care so much about this. Show me my randomized button. Wow, that's some scary looking dudes. <laughs> this does tend towards the scary looking. Thought it'd be a little more neutral, regular human looking. Not that I'm ever going to see myself, probably, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Jeez. Hmm... I'm going to be forced to go in and do a manual creation to get something that doesn't look like a hideous mutant. This is this is some crazy bad random. 
what options do we have? I mean, a lot of options, but I really, I hate fiddling with this stuff. Usually I can get away with just hitting uh, random a few times and I get something that's relatively okay. I mean, sure, whatever. I'm tired of hitting the button. I don't really care. Uh, next. What's your name? I hate to put my name to that face, but I'm going to do it. All right, there we go. A summary. So we're a little high on the intelligence perception, a little better on personality and temperament, and, you know, I don't care on strength and dex. <clears throat> we're going to... Uh, we're going to win through superior skill and uh, technology. <laughs> hey there, Lago Vista Megs. Thank you very much. Very generous donation. Yeah, you got a chance to follow a stream? Is that That's because of your scheduling, not me, right? Because <laughs> I'm all over the place. You had to have been able to find me previously. I'm assuming you, you're a busy person in real life. Uh... I have got to get the um, the local board game group set up and going. One of these times, company X bought company Y. <laughs> are, are you an X man or are you a Y man? <laughs> I guess you're both now. So you got bought. Hopefully, you don't then get um, you know sloughed off as uh, excess to needs. That would be bad. Let's see. So, yeah, I don't know what most of these things do. I don't really care. Let's jump in. Back to the storyline. I'll be quiet now. Dip my tea. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Era 2, Upper Orbiting Laboratory Halcyon System. I feel you, brother. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! this thing working ah there you are now uh, where were we oh yes a smuggler 
His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Okay, oh, we're in. Mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Alright, let's learn some basics. Tutorial movement turn. We We can jump. We can crouch slide. Well, we can crouch. <laughs> Not so much slide. Adreno shot. Whoops. I always keep hitting F to uh, interact. One of the games I've played recently. <laughs> it, between E and F, they keep flipping back and forth between interact and loot and all that. And now I keep accidentally hitting this uh, Adreno healing thing. Uh, that looks like it. Marauder Thug. Nothing else there. Now they're teaching me to crouch sneak. Crouch sneak through the grass. Hey, get in the grass, idiot. Uh oh. I did boo I did poorly. Keep moving. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Alright, teach me about the adreno healing. Hey, you, come here. Or not. <laughs> You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Sounds like a coffee brand. Uh, medical. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Okay, uh, let's grab some stuff.
Yeah, how much of a loot goblin I am is yet to be determined. All right, hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Vats. <laughs> Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD, TTD meter very slowly while moving and attacks... Drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Q for the tactical time dilation near you. Okay. And of course we have the required beautiful vista after coming out of tutorial cave. <laughs> hey bad guys. Hey. Couldn't get another headshot. Where's the other guy? I can see his little... Well, that does make it a lot easier. Ammo, ammo, and ammo. Is there a natural healing? There is natural healing. Hacking and picking locks. Hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shots are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. All right. Good to know. So that's 13 slash 5 and then 2 slash 4. So if I pick that up and pick that up, we now have everything we need. All right. Uh, pick up more of the junk. A telescoping staff. Two handed in melee. Alright. Sure. Uh, I think that's everything here. Everything feels just a little bit floaty so far. It's going to take me a while to adapt to the movement mechanisms. So right now, look in the upper left, the purple bar is the time dilation. It does go by pretty quick. I wonder what, what's, what's the line where it made the little noise. Now it's continuing to fill. Base bar times two to double jump or... Ah. D. You can only do it side to side. Okay. More ammo. Oldie to take all. Sure. Where'd the second guy go? Uh, tab key opens this. Uh, okay. Buy for inventory. We got four slots, do we? All right, show me, uh, show me the telescoping staff. All right, what are you? Use these controls to attack and block left, right. Most melee weapons can perform three swing combos. All melee weapons can block. All right, so we got block. One, two, three. I guess. Go back to the pistol. Okay, where's my binoculars? 
Marauder Vandal. Marauder Vandal. And friendly. This is going to take a lot of paperwork. Seems just the slightest bit too low currently. Let's move the master back up to oh, 75. Oh, damn it. It's going to shuffle my graphics again. This game has stupid, stupid windowed resolution rules and, and <laughs> shenanigans. Eh, it's fine. Resize my goddamn window for the 14,000th time. <laughs> it is so bad. There's, I can't get it to give me preset coherent resolutions. So, oh my God. <laughs> so I have to pick these crazy looking resolutions and then manually drag the window around to try to resize it. But it keeps constantly resetting it every time I go into that settings menu. Uh, keep it, damn it, stop. Oh, it is so annoying. Now it's back to a wacky ratio again. <laughs> I'm sure this looks really fun on your guys' side. Just seeing me move this window size around. Hopefully that does it, and I won't have to mess with that stupid menu again. All right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna take a lot of paperwork. What the hell? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Okay, I don't get this. I've had a long conversation with her earlier in my little test game. Why am I not getting a conversation this time? And where's the other dude that was with her? Huh. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. I don't know. Maybe I don't have certain attributes this time that I had last time. That seems a little weird. All right. Guess we can try to sneak our way a little closer. You gonna talk to me now, lady? What in the blazes? Where'd you come from? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. God, hmm. I'm wrong, Leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. The resolution is still whacked. Looks okay on your guys' side, but on my guy, my side, I can I'm losing a huge portion of the bottom of my screen because the ratio is not quite right. But it's a locked ratio, so I can't change the ratio. <laughs> this is so bad. Um, all right, give me a second. I got to get through this combo, and then I'll fiddle with it again. Um, da -da -da. really? How is he? Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater, just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. I don't know why I had to do the fight and then come talk to her. It shouldn't It should have been the other way around. Um, yeah, whatever. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But 
Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Too late. I already did the job. Alright, one second. Let me go fiddle with this again. I mean, look at these these crazy numbers. As soon as I say windowed, I get these crazy resolutions. What, what the hell is this? <laughs> what are these? It's, it's just, it's whack. So I then have to go pick one that hope it's in the right uh, ratio. I can't really tell. I think that's the right one. Then I have to say keep. Then I have to move the window, then I have to drag a corner, and because it's a fixed ratio, it doesn't matter where I grab the dip. Nope, see, that's not the right ratio. What the hell? No, that one will work. All right, we'll go like that. Now, get me out of here. Oh, see, now as soon as I say yes, I can't get back out of here without it canceling the thing I just did. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, uh, it's so bad. Not making a good first impression game. <laughs> uh. I can't even pick a borderless option. I'm not going back into that menu right now to, to test further during a live stream. <laughs> I'll fiddle with it later. I didn't think it was going to be this big of an issue. If I can just avoid going back into that screen, we'll be okay. It's just that uh, every time the ratio is wrong, um, I lose. The last time I was losing a large part of that conversation, I couldn't even see because the bottom of the screen was so far off the bottom of my monitor. Right now, it looks the way it should look, so we're we're gonna go with it. But I mean, I've done this, geez, a thousand times at this point, playing with Windows resolutions and so on. I mean, this ain't my first radio. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's uh, find those corpses. There were, what, like three corpses, I think? That's a one. And then I thought one charged me. Can I get up on a high ground? Sort of. Hmm. Uh, probably not going to make much difference if I find the corpses or not. Canid tail. Yeah, we'll go with it. Yeah, they're standing pretty close together. I'm about to give those psychotic rung leeches what for. Are you? Not I don't know. Everyone has chosen to enforce landing regulations, you know? I had to fill out four whole forms. Yeah, I don't know if those guys are broke from further questing because it didn't let me talk to them before. If I'm missing anything from them or not. But let's get in the ship. So in my test game I played before going live, I got into the ship and I kind of ran around a little bit, and that was it. I didn't go out of the ship and continue adventuring, so... That this vessel contains no valuable plunder. No valuable plunder. Got Intruders it. Intruders are not authorized to access the unreliable's amenities, including the cargo hold's workbench. Either cargo hold workbench... All right, workbench allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip-top shape all the time. Hmm, yep. Yeah. All right, so we have ways of repairing things. Looks like we do have durability. On items, there is a condition stat. Tinker, repair, breakdown. We'll get into this stuff later. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Uh, 
I am missing parts. Missing parts. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Preparing to eject all foreign parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Level two. So is this kind of like the uh, whoop, the Dread Pirate Roberts? <laughs> How many Captain Hawthorns have there been? We've been promoted. Level up. All right. Uh, gain enough experience. Leveling up health. Increase your health points. Upgrade your skills. Perks, etc. Continue. All right. Tab. Anti-Clio management training. Skill improvements. Okay, we'll figure it out. Perks are points available 10. So I picked this earlier. Do I get to pick it again? Okay. Um, so we have base and modified values or adjusted. Heal amounts granted, effect duration. We gotta go to 40 to get competent. Unlock the third drug mixing slot. We have drug mixing slots. Okay. Let's see. Uh, ah, now it's one per. Hmm. Get that magic number to 20. That magic number to 30, which is not magic. Hey, what? Uh, hold X to revert all. Uh, 
Let's pick some important benchmarks first. 20 seems to be an important number. Unlock TTD location hit effects. That sounds like something we want, but we're out of points. All right, let's apply that. Work time. Uh, I kind of looked through these in the uh, test game. That was about the last thing I did. What did I figure I wanted to do? Sprint speed. Sprint speed is what I want. All of these games always feature running all over the damn place, doing fetch quests and stuff. I think this is probably going to be the most impactful choice. So we'll take that. Apply, accept. All right, we have taken our level ups. We've talked to Ada. I don't remember there being much else on the ship to loot right now. To monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. We're kind of limited in what we Due can do. Catastrophic power failure. All doors will remain on security lockdown. Gourmet saltuna fillet. Nuka Cola? Nope. <laughs> Rocky Mountain Algae Lager. Okay. I don't think there's a button to highlight lootable objects nearby. Okay. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Requires power regulator. All right. I think that's it. <laughs> gotta, gotta stop jumping off things. If your things. equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Thought off shotgun. Okay. Um, so what does this need? Weapon repair parts. We have insufficient. We could probably disassemble something. With the breakdown option. I haven't seen a storage container. I don't know if we have to worry about storing loot somewhere. Or if we get access to that later or how that works. Uh all right, let's uh I don't know if this is also a limit to how many things I can carry. Oh, we have weapons and armor, do we? Okay. So that is 88.5. That is 100. So if we name, hold, flip. Oh, I'm in modify. So breakdown. E to breakdown. Tanker, you have insufficient bits, whatever bits are. Oh, I got rid of the wrong one. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Make it full, lose six weapon parts, still have 18 left. Condition 5%, ouch. Sure, why not? Keep hitting tab to bring up my inventory screen. Let's do it like that, I guess. 120 rounds for the shotgun. Do they use the same ammo? They must use the same ammo type. Weird. Uh, nine light and yep, they use the same ammo. All right. Shared ammo pool, light, heavy, and energy. 
filter, armor management. Oh, consumables. Use junk or drop. Uh, emergency medical inhaler shows at the top. Uses Adreno. Heals an emergency. Keep it loaded in slot one. Medical skill to unlock drug mixing slots. It can be hold all types of consumables. Each slot is mixed into every puff of the inhaler for a combined effect. Okay. We do have a slot open for a second consumable. I don't know that I have any. The hydrated water tablets. Just add air. Okay. Um, do I actually have food and water requirements or do you have to play that one difficulty to deal with that stuff? Mods general. Picks and weapon. West list, cap and ident card, and junk items. Okay. Junk items can be sold in bulk at vendors. Cool. How do I designate a junk item? Z to add to junk. Okay. Easy enough. Stranger in a strange land. Ooh, gotta love the Heinlein references. Uh, so go get a power regulator. Yep, got it. All right, I think we're off. Let's uh, let's make a save. Uh, delete the old save. Make a new save. Zone out. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because it started making a bit of a clamor after you went in. Scared the marauders right off. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Okay. Lie. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay. So we can just have nonsensical conversations where I don't have to provide ID or documentation or wear the right uniform or anything? <laughs> just pick from the menu for the, uh, the, the dialogue? All right. We're going to have a pretty loosey-goosey system, aren't we? Um, is that a camp up there? That looks like a camp. Oh, primal brutes. All right, let's get killed by some primal brutes. Hmm, that doesn't look like it was a good idea. Protect me. They're not protecting me. Are they running back away? So they do have a leash range. Did they kill the dude? Nope. <laughs> huh. All right. I don't think I want to play around with them quite yet. What else we got out here? Equipped weapons don't show up in your breakdown. Okay. I guess that would explain why it did the wrong one. I thought it was whatever one I... I wait. I remember seeing the 88% one on that list. At least on one of the screens on there. Maybe not the breakdown one in particular. That's why I thought I had broken down the damaged one. We'll have to pay more attention next time. Uh, I was also wondering if there's a day-night cycle on these planets. and Does it change on each planet or am I always on Halcyon? Uh, let's go up that way. Marauders.
Taking more shots than I expected he would. You're hiding. I kind of like it. Is it just going to be the two of you? Whoop. Is that me dead? Oh, no. I was wondering. I didn't think I'd taken that much damage. <laughs> it's a kill cam. Adreno, trip blade, heavy ammo, yeah, sure. Oh, take it all. A necklace. Pretty necklace worth 25 monies. 25 money units. What is with the weird noise it's making when I approach? Is it auto looting or auto identifying or something? Canid alphas. Okay. Canid ferals. Seems like a pretty big map area. So that was where those gorilla things were. And then we've got another area up that direction. And then our big sprawling town area. Hmm. Uh, it's going to make me laugh every time. The cemetery. Hmm. How do I not have a weapon out? Pressing the button twice doesn't put the weapon away. Oh God, don't make me go to the settings window. I don't want to go to the settings window because it's going to detect my, my incorrect resolution and force me to resize again. <laughs> Uh, does anybody care that I'm constantly pointing weapons at them? Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. I bet. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barber shop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. 
Okay, we have our first secondary quest, I assume secondary. So, do they give markers for locations? Is it a hand-holdy, go here, go here, go here kind of thing? I don't see any other markers, other than our stranger in the strange land one, which I'm assuming that's not the ones I just took. Inactive quest, active quest, uh, toggle inactive, back. A small grave matter, so... Is that the one I'm working on right now? Is it telling me to do it in a certain order? Must be. Okay. And then we have lots of info, stuff, mechanics and stuff. All right, we'll peruse that later if I think I need it. I still don't know what all this stuff is. I think that's the money. Apparently there's weight allowance. Two and zero, what does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Level two, I assume, with a progress bar to three. Hmm. Can't be, is it number of guns equipped? <laughs> I don't know. And I've got this thing, so yeah, I don't know what these mean. Okay, uh, so nobody cares if I'm pointing guns at him constantly, apparently. I guess I won't worry about it. I can really go for some salt tuna. Yeah, I got some salt tuna. Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. I, huh? Alright, I get it. I wasn't dozing off. No quest from you guys. I also don't see a stamina bar. I can just sprint permanently. Apparently. All right, so quest tracker thingy is showing me what? That's right in front of me. It's not showing me the one off to my right that I'm facing now. Why is that an inactive quest? If I go here, quest, small grave metal, or matter, set active, double click. All right, so now it's gonna show the tracker on the other one. Well, I, probably the main one's always active, I would assume. But it still says it's an active quest. Oh, wait. What the hell? <laughs> uh, if you're inactive, why are you showing me the active quest marker indicator? <laughs> oh, man. How long has this game been out? Uh, let's go ahead and go back and we'll do this main questy thing first. Do we get to steal stuff? Oh, it's red. Pet pills. Locked terminal. Not locked terminal. Oh god, I hate this kind of lore. Renew your subscription, huh? Password require hack one to bypass. That was tough. Uh, industrial accident successfully interred in gravesite 13 TAC F. Aiden accounted. Hmm. Okay. Not sure if I need that info. Bit cartridges. Steal it. Don't have enough. Whatever those resources are to loot stuff, I apparently need more. Oh, I guess I should close close doors when I'm running around grabbing everything. Zone border, huh? All right. 
I thought they was not going to have a zone border. Unless that's just the inside of this building zone border. Ludwig Miller, huh? Are most of these buildings going to be inaccessible? And how would I know without walking up to them? That makes the area a lot emptier than I was hoping. Uh, this must be, what, a cannery, maybe? Yeah, it looks like the town itself. Oh, yeah. I... So that door does not have lights around it. That door does. Maybe that's the clue. If I can stop wasting my time. Although we've got this stuff. And again, it did that noise. I feel like it's my skill being checked or something. Okay. Anybody in here? Wonder why none of these are registering as stealing. I'm going to complete the run around that direction. Hey, you. I'm going to come point my gun at you while I talk. Hey, get back here. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacer's chaw, a few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. 75 bit cartridges. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Mechanical's got a weak spot in your <coughs> midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. All right, so a lot of buried stuff in the conversation trees. Still pretty nonsensical, um, but um, I've noticed that every time you pick one of the skill options, you get XP, and it seems to have some kind of a critical continuation. But uh, I would have bailed out of that conversation pretty early and not seen that uh, that subquest. So that part's good, I guess. Uh, close the door. Go take stuff. 
Eye patch shunt. Toss ball stick. No idea if toss ball sticks are worth anything. Hey, another workbench. Hmm. I don't know if I should just willy-nilly break open random containers or save the limited number of uh, material use of date. Oh. <laughs> save the uh, the parts. Eh, let's just break in. Oh, uh, heck yeah. <laughs> I think that was worth it. What did we get? We got some light assault rifles in perfect condition. Uh, yeah, let's switch to that. That uses heavy, but we don't have enough ammo for that, but that's all right. What else? Hey, vending machines. Does it matter which one I talk to? Hmm. <coughs> A food vending machine and something else. <coughs> um, hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation. Okay? Or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Um, I don't remember what my hack skill is. I don't think I can check it from here. So they've got Adreno... They've got ammo, weapons, and uh, mag picks. And bypass shunts. Mr. Power, sure grip. Armor mods. Melee weapon mod. Okay. So we got us uh, some weapon mods, did we? Old Z to sell junk. Hey, what's in my junk category? I know I had at least one thing in here earlier. General, quest, buyback. So, do I not have hack 40? Is that why I don't have a list? Or hack 20, I mean. Uh, forget where to see my character info. Skills. I've got, yeah, I have hack 20. Unlock the bill to sell goods to vending machines. So, inventory. Junk. So, I have a junk category, but I can't see the junk category I'm about to sell stuff from. <laughs> that seems weird. How does that work? That's weird. I want to be able to see the stuff to make sure I didn't accidentally press Z on something. Oh, my God. I mean... What if I accidentally press Z and my hyper sword of Uberness plus 12 is sitting in here? Am I going to have to check my junk pile every time before I interact? Seems weird. Is that weird to anybody else that you can't actually see the screen with the items you're about to mass sell? <laughs> Unless I'm missing something, which is very possible, but there's no category here for looking at the junk pile. I mean, great. How much money did I make? I don't know. Hey there, Fertile Creek. I don't know. You're the first person to mention any problem with the stream. It might be broke, but nobody has mentioned it yet, other than you. Broke in what way? So they are different. This one's food and meds, probably. And I can't click and drag. I have to scroll wheel. Um, we've got how much money? Two twelve. I'm not allowed to buy it. Cannot purchase this restricted stock. Okay, that I can understand. A hammer? Do we go for a hammer? We didn't take strength or deck stuff. I was mostly planning on shooting um, my way to uh, satisfactory resolutions of conflicts, but... Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't need to. I don't know if I need to keep this stuff or what. Oh, these filters are only for what the vending machine has. It's not showing my screen. That's that's why we don't have a category. But that still seems really weird. But I can't see what I'm gonna sell. I would like some heavy ammo, please. I gotta press the keyboard for everything. I can't do I can't do things via the mouse. Whoop. Oh, that's an info screen. Yeah, it's weird. I have to press my keyboard to do things. I mean, wow, that stuff's expensive. Okay, good to know. We'll hold off on that. Uh, for the Twitch folks, this is the kind of game where we struggle with the pipeline availability to Twitch. YouTube's probably not having any any eh, bit of stuttering over on the YouTube side. Might be on your end. Yeah, YouTube's got the giant fat pipe. They, I, I can send just magnificent, huge gobs of info uh, to, to YouTube. But on the Twitch side, they got a really narrow bandwidth restriction for how much you can send them. And this kind of game pushes that envelope pretty hard. So we might be getting some uh, video quality issues on the Twitch side. First time in a little while I've played a game of this type. I might have to dial down some of the settings in order to uh, get it to a point where it's a little cleaner on uh, Twitch side. So... Feedback is uh, necessary and appreciated just so I can try to make the viewing experience as pleasant as possible. But anytime we're playing one of these higher end graphic first person shooter types, uh, I run into this problem with the, uh, the bit resolution or bit uh, flow requirements being so low on Twitch comparatively. Um, all right, I'm figuring some of this stuff out, but I think I'm just going to forego buying or selling anything for the moment. We know it's here. More vendors over there. I don't know how much random, random stuff in the world I need to know about. More hammers. I am kind of curious about the hammer, though. 400 for the hammer. So basically what I've learned is I need to come here. And I need to pick things I want to sell. Like if I don't need a backup of that, sell value is 8.8, .8, huh? Huh. All right. So I would have to unequip it first before I can send it to the junk pile. Yep, sure enough. All right. Gunk, gunk, gunk. We're not going to make it to the number I was hoping to get to. Uh, go ahead and junk the spare. And I don't think I'm going to use the shotgun. Get rid of that for now. Lighten up. Nothing on that screen. Um, I have no idea if I need this stuff for anything. It'd also be nice if it showed you like a trade-in value amount for the things you have in your junk pile, but apparently I don't get that either. All right, so we're at 212. I made that much. <laughs> Not much. More food, huh? Weapons and med or weapons and ammo. All right. Uh, I don't see much out here. Red, probably. Yep. Ooh, really? Okay. So that's what red means. Landing pad. I don't see much to deal with. Computer. Hey, terminal. Cap insert captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. Uh, okay. I got no, no option.
All right, let's head back up. Um, nah, <laughs> let's go see what it looks like inside the town. Report you to Mr. Todson. All right, new zone. So we got grave matter, grave matter, and grave matter. <laughs> so we got the outside single one, three in time. Um, you guys hiding something back here? Apparently, a whole bunch of stuff. Look at that. Okay, so now I know to be on the lookout for hidey holes in the terrain. That one was pretty straightforward. Saltuna. And we've learned we're not going to be able to get into that door. Rando guards probably don't have anything to say. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threat, friend. I'm going. Boss is on. Mm hmm. No, no. People in here? All the salt tuna we might ever need. Dream is a frozen image, huh? Let me go look. Yep. Looks frozen on my screen, too. Refresh, and it's still frozen image. The YouTube side. Not receiving enough video to maintain. All right. Go check a few things. Oh, yeah. I'm getting warning messages. Do, 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 do. All right, game. What do we got? Skip frames. Lots of skipped frames going on. All right. Um, hmm. Who's that? Be a minute while I go check a few things. It is definitely not a system issue on my side. Plenty of horsepower. I'm running at like 36% CPU, 50% GPU, and 75% uh, RAM. So it's not that problem. It's definitely a um, streaming issue. All right. Uh, let me make a save. All 
Unfortunately, that means I'm going to have to go play with these again. Let's see. This is going to screw up a lot of things. Um, Let's go. No motion blur. Gamma's fine. Uh, I'm not going to fiddle with field of view. Let's see. Get rid of SSO. Move view distance to medium. Shadows to low. Foliage to medium. I don't know which of these is really going to have an effect visually versus just improving, um, lowering the overall info bit uh, size that we need to go through. So do that. Say yes. Get out of the damn screen. Then go change my window size. Which is pretty far behind still, <laughs> but it's it's moving. Wow, it's really far behind. Still shows me fiddling with the uh, the menu options. What the hell is? All right, there is some weirdness going on. Like they're both really far behind. Lowering. Wow, how is it so far behind? Yeah, that's weird. Change my view so I can more easily tell when it catches up. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. All right, let's try something a little different. <clears throat> uh, that one, overwrite. Quit. I was feared of this. Each time I try one of these, it's rough to get a good image quality with the restrictions, but I'm not sure why the YouTube side's having a problem. I haven't tried playing a game like this uh, and multi-stream it uh, yet. This will be the first one I've tried of this type with these kinds of graphical demands for the uh, info pipeline to go to Twitch and YouTube and kick simultaneously, and it... No, it's definitely it's not a system issue. I got plenty of power. So I'm not sure. Why does it still show me fiddling in that screen? <laughs> yeah, they're just way, way behind. This is weird. Well, I tell you what, uh that is not a quality image or experience. So I'm going to have to probably have to stop. My, my issue is I can't test this kind of thing without being online with you guys. And it's a terrible viewer experience. So it's hard for me to, uh, to figure out what's going wrong and what I need to adjust. 
Um. Uh. Hey, Twitch finally caught up and has a blank screen now. <laughs> YouTube is still rolling along behind before I logged out. Oh, there it caught up. Yeah, all right. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this. So let me, um, I'm going to end the stream here because that, that is not going to work. Uh, I'll have to look into a few things and think about how I want to deal with it. So it's been a while since I had this problem. Um, so I'll do that and, uh, try to whatever testing I can do. And then I will, uh, possibly bring it back. If it's going to be that kind of performance, I won't be able to stream it, but it's possible I can stream straight to YouTube only, even at the higher resolutions because of the, um, the much, much larger bandwidth allowance. So I might try that, but for now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, stop. So thanks for watching everybody or trying to watch the slideshow that it became, uh, for folks that were here the whole time that are still here. Was it okay at first and then it got bad or was it bad the whole time? <laughs> and nobody was saying anything It would help me to kind of diagnose what's going on. Is it just certain like the, when I logged or zoned into this area, did it all of a sudden get bad, but it was okay when I was outside in like the tutorial area and all that, um, that'll help me track down what kind of problem it might be. So better now, I bet. <laughs> Transmitting nothing but blank screen here. Here you go. Have some, have some soothing witch's cottage, <laughs> which you'll see in a, a short bit here.